The Foundation for Women's Cancer was started in 1991, where it was founded by the Society of Gynecologic Oncology. It was founded as the patient advocacy arm so that women and loved ones could access resources and information to optimize the best care for the best outcome. So our mission is three-pronged, where we um, promote the prevention, early detection, and optimal treatment of gynecologic cancers through a variety of different programs in the awareness arena, in the education arena, and in the research arena. So in terms of awareness, what we do is we do various campaigns that promote messages and multimodal um, formats for women and other stakeholders to access so that they can know how best to communicate about the importance of early detection and prevention. Um, what are the things that they need to know to take action? We have a, a campaign going right now called Learn, Listen, and Act. It's really simplistic in its um, content, but repetitive so that women know how to learn about the various diseases that they're at risk for, to listen to their bodies when symptoms, when symptoms um, are present, and then take the appropriate action. And what, by action, we really mean seeking care first by a gynecologic oncologist. Um, research has shown that when women seek care first from a gynecologic oncologist, the outcomes are better. Um, so that's one of our awareness campaigns that we launched a couple of years ago. In terms of education, we have what we call our signature educational program, which is day-long or half-day courses, survivor courses, on below-the-belt cancers, primarily ovarian, uterine, or cervical. Um, and these courses are led by our SGO physicians who comprise our faculty, where they help develop the curriculum for the program, where really it's structured as the first part of the day is more of the science related to gynecologic cancer in terms of the latest research, clinical trials, importance of genetic testing, and what that means in terms of optimizing and knowing your resources and how best to address your risk. Um, and then the latter part of the day is really reserved for more of the psychosocial quality of life, issues that women and their caretakers and loved ones can know about to help address the ongoing issues that come with a diagnosis of you know, uterine, ovarian, cervical, vaginal, or vulvar cancer. Um, and then research, since 1995, what we really recognize and realize is that the way to really unlock the mysteries and to work towards the eradic eradication of below the belt cancers is through funding research grants. So since 1995, the foundation has awarded over $5 million in what we call stimulus grants um, that are really used to help young investigators launch their careers in um, gynecologic cancer research. And we've seen a really great return on investment of our research program where most of the researchers that had gotten their initial start with our stimulus grants maintained their careers in gynecologic cancer. So we've seen a 23-fold return on investment that's really now translated into $58 million in intramural funding. So the journey continues to really work towards our grants as the launch pad to get them really started in a career that can help us get to our eventual goal, which is eradication of women's cancer. Great, that was perfect.